Hello everybody, Sigma Starcraft bringing you one of his games. We've got Impotent Rage, Zerg, bottom left, Omniscient, Terran, top right. I'm going to speed this up because this game was a longer game and the most interesting stuff happens in the last half. Hmm, heard me. We are going to... Uh, he's just playing around a little bit, having some fun with it, why not? I'm actually very interested to see what happened on my opponent's side of this game. Spending so much time focusing on myself, this is the first time I've looked at this replay. We see him going for a hatch first, I'm going for a CC first. He's not doing any type of drone scout, and I'm okay with that. Pool with a gas shortly after, it's going to allow him to get speed or maybe even some roaches. Barracks in play, gas right afterwards, so I can tech up normally here. This has become my very standard build up at this point. Super safe, good on the economy. This guy is going to throw down a very good fast third hatch there. Not expecting too much pressure from me, which is the way that he should be playing it. Getting myself a bit of a wall, taking care of stuff at the front. Units wise, we see that pretty even on workers right now. He did go for that macro hatch, so that slowed him down a bit, but he should be able to turn it up pretty fast. I'll be going into mech, got myself more gases to be taken here so I can support that. On his side, teching up into lair, getting himself his speed finished up, and now he's doing good roaches. Minor wall at the front, and he's going to spread his creep very effectively. Third factory going down, got tanks. Fairly, fairly confident in what's happening here. Got a third command center on the way as well. Keep building my SCVs. He is going to start pulling ahead slightly in the worker count because of his three hatch production. He's getting a spire. And he's getting spore crawlers just for some good old defense at home. Good creep spread happening on his side. All of his bases are connected. Tanks out in front, very well entrenched. Going into armory so I can get out hellbats. His upgrades have started before mine are. Getting myself another orbital command. I did run to do a bit of scouting with an SEV or two during this game just to see what's going on. Put out one Viking. No, I didn't. That was a missile turret. It shoot him away. I saw the spy when I had scanned. So I'm expecting some sort of muta play. So I've got lots of turrets. I don't want to have to worry about coming home to defend. I'm going to have mech. It's going to be super immobile. So I want to be as safe as possible from that. He's making a couple of mutas, but not that many. Units wise. He's starting to get a bit better of a worker lead on me there, as I expected. His upgrades are happening. And then he's got an attack and corruptors in place. So it looks like he really wants to go into some heavy air-based attack. Supply-wise, I'm not that far behind. My upgrades are now started up, so they're a little bit delayed. He's already on plus two for some of his stuff, whereas I am still on just getting plus one up and going. Lots of tanks and hellbats. Moving into some pretty heavy production on four factories. And now going for another command center. Slow back down here. Creep spread from this guy has been awesome. This is helping him out a ton with seeing what's going on. He's got enough army at home just to really defend. He's moving into a really good hive timing here. 13 minute mark. Pretty aggressive. Very focused on his creep. I love that. I've got good missile turrets and I've been making pretty good on my workers. Up to about 60. It's about where I want to be. Got a command center on the way. Moving up into Thor production. I know that he's got mutas, so I gotta have Thors out there to deal with it. Overseers in the army deal with any type of widow mind play on my have. Looks like he tried to run with an overseer, didn't get too far. Yeah, but I'm gonna let him do it anyways. Put out one Viking just to run around the map to check for overlords. It doesn't look like he has media on the map, so he's not gonna have a successful run of things. But you know, what can you do? Supply blocked him a bit. He's got a pretty big bank on money right now, but as a Zerg on coming on four bases that hasn't been attacked, it doesn't surprise me too much. My army is chunking along. I am getting an, a lead in supply because of his supply block. Producing quite a bit at a time, but I'm starting to queue up, so you'll see I'll start throwing down more production here pretty quick. Hmm, pardon me. This saturation has been really good this game. I mean, it's not too much higher than mine. But on the three bases, I think he's doing alright. His upgrades are doing pretty good. Finally have my plus two starting. Three Hellbats and Thors. So I'm going to go for a big mech ball. I've not put any pressure on him. I was thinking about maybe making some Hellions to run around. But with these mutas on the map, there isn't too much that I'm really expecting to get done. Instead, 
Oh man, he's finally getting dealing with that supply block. Nine overlords at a time. Tons of money banked up because of that. More factories. Plus two. Blue flame happening. I need those for my hell bats. He's getting his ultralisk. I mean, because we just really haven't touched each other for so long, we've just been in this kind of neutral position. Sending in a barracks to scout. I've got seven factories, so I feel I'll be alright for the time being. Moving over command center. See his army, see the mutas. Certain that this base exists down here. Good creep spread in that direction as well. Finally got enough army, I can take the low ground. And I'm just about maxed. And as I max out here, that's when I'm going to feel a bit more comfortable to move out. He's got a change thing sitting right by my base, so he knows that that's going down. I'll transfer a big pile of workers out of my main, because it's going to mine out pretty soon. Scanning around because I want to see where his army is at. Back down to regular speed. His creep spread is almost half the map, which is fantastic. Going for his fifth base as I'm getting my fourth. So he's keeping ahead of it pretty good, focusing on his gas, which is important. I'm going to get down my planetary. I haven't seen his mutas come at me, though I know he has them. So I'm just interested to know if he is going to be able to make use of them or not. Looks like he wants to come around and put some bigger pressure on with his entire army here. My army is maxed, so I'm now ready to move out and put some pressure on. Lots of missile turrets going down though, he gave me enough time. If he flew into this mutas, he would have been able to shut this down very well. If you've got those mutas, such a mobile unit like this, you have to find a way to use it. Make it a bit more effective. Lings obviously aren't going to get much done against planetary. I'm not too worried about that. For me right now, I've got the opportunity to push in and do damage. We do see him making a giant pile of broodlords though on this side. And I did not scout his greater spire. So that is definitely, definitely something I'm not prepared for. As all of his plus three upgrades are finishing up, my plus three is just starting. Sieging up a few tanks. I know he's got a lot of banelings. So I half expected him to just max out on banelings and run them into my mech army. So I want my Thors in front as much as possible, and the tanks to be positioning around behind us as I move along. Sending one tank over here to pressure that base, because I know that it is there. I scout what is going on there, so I'm going to leapfrog my tanks forward. It's getting pretty intense right now. I'm sure that he's maxed. I'm sure he's got a pretty big army. But it would be, he's maxed out so he can't really change into any other type of units. His Broodlords are a long ways away, though he probably could have used this on this army pretty well. His upgrades for his air though, aren't that fantastic. He is going to go for the oh so amazing base tradie. Having some Widow Mines back here probably would have been very effective. Regardless, I know that he's going to base straight. I'm not going to run home. I am going to go for the attack. I don't know what you guys are doing. He's trying to get down the big wall in time. My Hellbats are very well upgraded. They'll bust through this very quickly. This base looks like it's going to go down. And at this side, he's throwing away quite a bit of Banelings and stuff. He's losing a lot of his Mutas to these missile turrets here. So the problem for me though, is that all of my supply is back here. So being able to build more stuff is hard. I'm building a bunch of barracks to surround my command center because I don't know that he has the Broodlords. I wasn't paying close enough attention and I expected him to just have the Zergling and the Mutas in play. It probably been worthwhile for me to snipe all these Overlords off because it had been so hard for him to be max with a lot of those killed. Pushing up into the main, just going to one aim my way through there. Go Thors, I need you to kill as much as possible. So, this base is getting routed, this base is still mining, this base is still mining. So I'm building up the bank that I need. You see that my bank far exceeds his now. And I am actually killing off a fair bit of his overlords. And this is very important, if you're base training a Zerg, you have to save the overlords. If you don't... It's so expensive and time consuming to remake these. I probably should have killed a few more of these guys.
Happily, I managed to kill him down to 82 possible food supply. So now, he's actually sieging up this base with his Broodlords. Throwing away a few of his Mutas, though, in a very uh, shitty way for him. I see this, and I'm a little disappointed. It's gonna do all the damage I can. Right now, I'm trying to micro around because I'm supply blocked. So I'm gonna come down here and start building a mass pile of supply depots. And I gotta go push in for his last bases. Looked up to command centers. I think he lost all of his mutas. His mutas would have been super, super effective right now, but he threw them away really cheaply on the last couple of missile turrets I had. For now, it's a matter of time. I have to do the killing that I can before this army comes back at me. I'm going to mine as much as I can. I was hoping to build some units back here, but I'm supply blocked. Lots of supply depots. He's building a base right beside my base. So I actually kill him back into supply opening. Because I've killed so much of his stuff. He's down to 60 of supply to my 120. But I don't really have an answer for these broodlords. I do have a lot of Thors. Almost as many Thors as broodlords. And I can move them into their really big high impact payload. I'm spreading out my command centers to look for his last bases. I finally got myself out of supply cap. Yeah, I know, you keep disconnecting on me. I don't care anymore. I've stopped caring. There we go. Pushing around, just killing off bases. We both have so much money that it's more important right now to play positionally. I know that we both have these sick, huge banks. I'm hoping that these stay hidden. He is going to spot my SCVs, which is very crappy for me, but I still have one command center left. He has no mutas, no corruptors. One barracks. Sweet. I can't kill any creep, obviously. I know that he's actually got a pretty sick army. I, I It looked bigger than it actually was. Like I think I might have been able to take this just be with the high impact payload. But I can see this army, and against these Broodlords, I don't think I really want to risk it. So rather than do that, I actually change into high impact payload in case he ch chases me down. I mean, they're plus two, so they do 36 damage times two. Pretty decent. Is that the right one? I think it's the right one. Yes. But I'm going to come back up here. I've got a huge bank. I need starports. Happily, I still have barracks left. Spreading his creep still, dropping my mules. I'm gonna speed it up here because now is where we both kind of hit a bit of a, a weird spot. I see exactly what's going on. He can't really do much about it. He does have a queen out. I see the roach. I see the spawning pool. I see his army composition. Unfortunately for him, is that a lot of his larva right now has to be really be made into overlords because he doesn't really have a lot of supply opening. He spotted my supply depots, which is so unfortunate for me, before I could get my starports finished. So I immediately have to go back into making more supply depots. I'm coming home with my army because I don't want to get like a zergling run by. I forgot about these tanks though this whole time. Lose all my supply depots. He's going to expand. He's moving into hydras, which I think is a good choice, though they don't deal really well against the mech composition that I have. Upgrades wise, they don't take any of the attack upgrades either. So at home, still making lots of supply depots. I wanted to go into Banshees while I'm making my Vikings, just to catch them off guard. But I've had to make a lot of supply depots, ate up a lot of my bank. He did finally come after those tanks. I did save them though. That's fantastic. I see everything that's going on right now. I see that he's got Hydras out. My army is in position. If I have to rumble, I know I will, though I'd rather not at this point. Alright, more and more Vikings being produced. He is getting a Spire back again. Very important for him. Let's look at the units tab. What are we at right now? Five workers for me. A couple of Widow Mines. I'm going to build another Command Center. In case, for some reason, we just trade equally. A couple of Widow Mines in there. 
15 Hellbats, 8 Thors, 4 Tanks, 2 Banshees, and I need lots and lots of Vikings. I managed to sneak in one little bugger here. Got a great shot off. 13 kills. He's got no detection over here right now. Yeah, I don't think he's... Does he have... He must have his lair attack. Yeah, it's finished. Now he's building some overseers. He's actually building up an army a lot faster than I expected. Banshees come in to clean out a few things. Almost lose them. I do get the cloak in in time. And I force him to make a bunch of spore crawlers. See the army comp. I know that my time is limited. He's got a much better economy. He's building his tech really fast. I have to go for the attack and put the pressure on him because I won't be able to compete head-to-head -head once this is finished. So I'm waiting for the last couple of Vikings and then I'm going to push in. And we'll hope for the best. The Spire is finished, which is also could spell my doom if I don't get in there fast enough. He got up a ton of supply really fast on Overlords. So now it's time to go. Supply is equal. We'll just see if I've got the right composition for this. Lots and lots of Vikings is my big key here. 12 Vikings need that to pick off all of the Broodlords. Making 11, 26 Zerglings in a hurry. The problem is I still have a lot of my Hellbats left. So here comes the army. He's attacking into a really bad position here. He's attacking into my concave at the bottom of the ramp. He loses ultras really cheap. Unfortunately, my Vikings attacked a little bit of the Overseers. Look at the unit stab here. The Thors are just beating through this. I've got a couple of Hellbats left, dealing some damage. Vikings take out the Brood Lords. And that's just about it. I know he's got no air left, so I can safely land my Vikings finish this off. GG. I tried to say GG and then I got flustered in the matter of working really quickly. That was a very, very intense game. <laughs> Didn't know what to really expect of that base trade. It's I probably could have attacked sooner. Maybe my high impact payload would have worked against the Broodlords, but they might have been able to kite back my Thors and then I would have just lost everything. So I think I made the right decision, though just barely. If I would waited another couple minutes, I probably would have lost. Cool game. Hope you guys liked that one. I know that that was uh, pretty thrilling for me. So tune in later, and I should have some more of my replays from the Gold and Platinum Leagues, wherever I'm at, in the next little bit.